You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Allegheny Spurge, Pachysandra procumbens. Allegheny Spurge, a plant native to the southeastern woodlands of the United States, prefers shady areas. In late spring, its new leaves open to their mature length of four to six inches. The most notable characteristic of the leaf shape is the scalloped margin along the upper half of the leaf. Leaf venation is pinnate. The six to ten inch tall plants form colonies with masses of green leaves throughout the summer season. The lower part of the plant stem is leafless. The leaves alternate along the upper portion. From above, they look whorled. The center leaves remain smaller, more elliptical, and without the deeply scalloped margins. As summer moves into fall, leaves begin developing white or silver splotches. Other older leaves may turn a bit yellow and flop to the ground. Because Allegheny Spurge is an evergreen plant, most leaves remain on the plant. As weeks go by, their modeling becomes more obvious. During late fall, push back the taller leaves and check the base of the plant. New flower bud stalks are beginning to grow. These flower buds grow from stems near the ground, as well as higher up along the plant stem. During winter months, Allegheny Spurge leaves display their white markings. When it's very cold, the green of the leaves may become more purple in tone, still with a silvery modeling. It's now early spring. Those flower buds survived the winter, and the flower stalk lengthens. Flower buds show four darker lines where they will split apart. The flowers gradually open to reveal four thick, mostly white, appendages. There are no petals. One field guide also claims there are no sepals. There is very little written information about Allegheny Spurge. The two to four inch flower spikes have been described as consisting of many staminate flowers above with the few pistillate flowers below. Another field guide describes small white stamens and pistils on separate flowers. I have not observed any pistillate flowers. As best I can tell, I have only staminate or male flowers in these images. As the stamens drop off the flower spike, the husks remain and dry out. One source states the fruit is a dehiscent capsule with blackish brown seeds and then adds that it is rarely seen on the plant. Plant propagation occurs through slowly spreading rhizomes below ground. A blooming colony of Allegheny Spurge is a striking display of white against the older mottled leaves. In addition to blooming flower spikes, Spring growth includes new plants sprouting from rhizomes. Older leaves, which took the plant through winter, now begin to shrivel and die. Spring leaves grow larger. and overshadow the dying winter leaves. Allegheny Spurge stems are often decumbent, that is, reclining, at their base, which explains the species name of procumbens. The two seasons for which Allegheny Spurge are most notable include the winter months, for its patterned leaves, and the spring, for its white flowers. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Pachysandra procumbens, also known as Allegheny Spurge. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of Allegheny Spurge, for a blog post comparing Allegheny Spurge with Japanese Spurge, for plant identification resources, 
and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.